Welcome everyone. So yes, lot of people thought that the answer for this one will be 14. Now why like that? Because they thought this minus 4 can be written as 4 into negative 1. And since the 49 is also under the root, so they wrote this as 49 into negative 1. And as we know that 4 is a proper square, so you take it out of the root, it becomes 2. As well as 49 is also a proper square or perfect square. So you take it out of the root, it becomes 7. And then you are just left with what? Negative 1 into negative 1. And in mathematics, we know that negative, negative into negative will always get you a positive. So they thought this will become 2 into 7 into root of 1. That comes out to be just 2 into 7 equals to 14. Now everything in this sum was done right except the last part. This went completely wrong. Now why like that? Please understand whenever you take a root of a negative number, you always have to understand root of a negative one will always come out to be an imaginary number. Okay. So here what you got was 2 into 7 into root of negative 1 into root of negative 1. So this became 14 into i into i correct now basically we got the answer as what 14 into i square now i square if i want to find the value of i square i need to square this equation so root of negative 1 the whole square equals to i square that is nothing but i square value comes out to be minus 1 so this eventually becomes 14 into minus 1. So I can say the answer for this one will be minus 14. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.